Hello, everybody, and greetings. This is Tavo DRC. Yes, as old as Whistler's mother. I always picture that. But anyway, I feel I live by my inner age. I feel as good as I've ever, I mean, I feel no older, only wiser and more mature than when I first started out in my 20s doing this. When I was 24, I was a Jesus person sitting in a church at the beginning, and my father had been a pastor. Everything was very calm and mild. It was uneventful. It was just sweet and revealing and nothing shaking or big or accusing, no dominating doctrines or preachers. It was all a really nice, precious beginning. So I knew the Lord already from my childhood as a Baptist and then uh, met the Lord for myself, rededicated my life. When I was around 18, the Jesus People Movement came later. And when I was 20 in college, I became spirit-filled and had the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Book of Acts experience. It was nothing that was, you know, it was just a, like a basic unfolding and getting a deeper insight and wisdom to things, discernment increased, but nothing that shook me, took me over. It wasn't controlling. It was a, It was not that kind of move. And it's a gentle Holy Spirit. I was raised among Presbyterians and Baptists and a, maybe a Methodist or so. My aunt had been an Episcopal rector's wife, raised Presbyterian. She later became full gospel. So we all had been through a pedigree, but it was like low-key business and ministry. You're just people. Hey, all colors are the same. God loves them. So that's what's on my heart is to be natural again, to find out where the normal is. Is there? There'll never be a normal, especially now. But let's get through the crazy medic part and figure out the reform that's needed, who is true, what is organic in this media age. Now, I was a charismatic, let's say, because I studied the movement. The Lord called me at age 24 to study the body of Christ, surf the body of Christ as an embed. I was married, had children along the way, just, you know, one day in, one day out, following the leading of the Lord to see revivals and movements later in the 90s. It became more interesting because TV had gotten bigger and the prophetic movement and then been traveling to different states. So I was sent at different times from age 24, 1976 till now, which was the the bicentennial of America. What a difference. Uh, I didn't know that. Nothing thought of that till lately, you know. So I didn't see it all, but I didn't hear it all, but I sure know a lot more than I ever thought. <laughs> I don't think small. I've never been uh, in awe, you know, like not wanting to do this. It's been interesting, even though later when more and more people wanted to be celebrities, it started to get dysfunction. And that's what we've got to deal with right now, right now, political and dysfunction people pleasing and all that type of thing psychic instead of prophet all these things so i'm giving you the history and you can evaluate it here for yourself this is a move of god called cross body unity that we're teaching that gives you the ability to hear god and read the bible see if it's really true like a noble berean that would make paul and your mama proud or maybe your papa and do what God says with your knowledge, your field, your revelation, your move of God that you've got going already. We're not trying to have members. This is not a club. It's not the good old person's club, girls or boys. It's all races, but it's for the individual to hear God. And we'll say our part and we'll reprove because we've seen some really weird stuff, especially the charismatic, crazy medic. And in 2012, let's say, when I was not here, it was before here, the Lord just took me out of being a charismatic. We are not. We are. We move in the gifts. We love the Holy Spirit. It's not that. And we are for the remnant that's still there. But I had to come out. It was so toxic, dysfunctional, untrustworthy, and also later occult. Not all. So this is why I'm teaching no names or faces. I'm not making a TMZ expose and, you know, money oriented. This is like, let everyone hear. And then you choose, you know, one by one, we are born one by one, one, we choose Jesus or not make him our savior or not one by one. We enter the, you know, the last day by ourselves. So along the way, you got to make choices. You got to listen. Paul said in first Corinthians, I believe it was 14, 
10, he said, there are many voices in this world and each one has significance. Whether it's your mama's voice, it's the conscience voice, the cell phone voice, the preacher voice, the dream in the night voice, the impression that it's maybe God or not voice. You've got to hear now and know with God's help and prayer over time. You know, there's a great verse to pray that I've prayed, I really all the time pray that I would hear God correctly and not be led astray from my youth upward, 18 on. Because when I went on this adventure, I'd even have people praying my protection to not get deceived by these moves of God. And most of them were not like that. And I was in black and white, Vietnamese, from Tulsa, Pennsylvania, Rich, uh, Richmond area, Central Virginia, Virginia Beach, uh, North and South Carolina, uh, sent to different places for many years, 15 in Dallas alone, and then Florida many times. And I saw what I now react to, that I like the good parts, and we respect the humans, because we're all frail humans. But when it got to be showbiz, celebrity, TV media, and then dysfunction in America, and the social society getting all materialistic, everything, including doctrine, went south. And there is not just a falling away. There is a Second Timothy 3, 1 through 5, 1 Timothy 6, 6, Pauline commanded, get out of the wrong kind of Christian ministry or people group. It talked to the secular, you know, growing up, I thought, oh yeah, there'll be a falling away and there'll be all this stuff going on, the perilous last days. I never thought I'd be in the churches when you want to visit, you want to get your fill of the Lord. You'd have to fight. You have to pass their criteria, their race, their gender, their age, their look, their form to be approved and accepted in their form of the beloved. And that's what we're going to work on. That is dysfunction. So there is a falling away. Hey, there is all colors. But there is also a running away, a driving away from false teaching, legalism, accusation, race, and, you know, bias in our nation and Bible thumping. But then there is also a holy fear of the Lord, godly remnant, doing what Paul said, get out. In the last days, they're here. These are the perilous last days. And it says, Paul prophesied, people, even ministry people, you and I, we have to be careful Many people, even in the church field, as it were, will be lovers of themselves. And that's what we're teaching so strongly. So I'm going down the list. I believe that when I come away from the last 50 years, practically, of hearing this, not quite 50, but 47, I would say that I affirm the denominationals are far more friendly, safe, not occult, Black people, to me, have been very accepting. There can still be showbiz and all these people, but not as many in the denominationals. And there's servant leaders, usually, that are smiling. That didn't mean I am a denominational, but I am pro cross body unity, finding the great fruit that remains in every one of us. So you can have charismatic, the three kinds of spirit-filled, charismatic, quasimatic, and crazymatic. Charismatic, I will call you the remnant, the holy fear of the Lord remnant that are true. All right, by the book, not legalistic, not stone throwing, but true. All right, not goofy. You can have quasimatic, you don't know who they really are. They're the demons, opportunists. They, you don't know who they are putting on a big front, then later you find out they're different. All right. Then you got the crazymatic, and that's the part that really put it over the dysfunctional evil eye and now occult witchcraft reading and divining people knowing who they are without speaking to them that is so an anathema to the love of christ it is so big shot it is so proud it's so false now i'm not gonna name you i'm not accusing you i'm saying shape up deliver your people and yourself of this heresy god will judge you and bring down judgment on you if you're lying and saying, I read and I saw them sleeping around, I saw them into mischief, I saw them church hopping and you never spoke to them, you never loved them and validated them as human beings and felt for them like Christ, God is going to remove your lampstand, lost first love, Revelation 2, God bless.